from a very early age, I was fascinated by motorcycles. There was a bike club that used to meet not far from my house, and I used to pedal up there, I mean, Rally Chopper on meat night, and pedal around the car park looking at all these Triumphs and Nortons and BSAs and whatever. Amazing things. It just seemed that the whole world was your oyster if you had a motorcycle, you could literally go anywhere you wanted to. The last tour I went on was with Karen. We met a long time ago, back in the mid 80s, and immediately there was that attraction. We saw each other for two or three years. I then had to go abroad to work for a year, and we sort of lost touch. We never saw each other for 25 years. And then out of nowhere, at work one day, I had a, a LinkedIn pop-up come up saying, people you may know, Karen Dubbins. It was incredible to see each other again. And it was instantaneous conversation again. It was just like the first time. We decided we'd move in together. The touring holiday was to be our sort of little jaunt before we came back and settled down, basically. She was the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. It was on the way back from that holiday when we had the accident. Well, I had a lot of support from a lot of people. You know, my family, my sisters that came around, my children, my ex-wife, friends. Everybody was there for me. There's no, no doubt about it, you know. But Karen was the one that was there all the time. She was there nearly every day. And then a year on from the accident, I was in hospital again for a couple of months and Karen got the diagnosis for the return of the, of the cancer. It was just so, so cruel. The whole thing seemed so cruel. You know, as I was getting myself better, she was going downhill the other way and it just all seemed so wrong. It was only a few months before it really took hold, and then within a matter of weeks after it hit her really hard, that was the end of it. I thought, you know, what's the point in carrying on? You know, where am I going to go with this now, you know? But in a cruel, ironic way, Karen's passing actually helped me get better myself because I knew I then had to start doing a lot of things that in the past I'd allowed Karen to do for me. Your perspective on things changes completely, totally reversed. Rather than being out of the house 90% of the time, I'm now in the house 90% of the time. The claim was settled and I was able to buy a really nice bungalow, a five bedroom bungalow initially, and then set about adapting it to suit me. The settlement has made a big difference. It's getting me back into what I was doing before. One of the first things I wanted to do was to actually get back out there on the road on a motorcycle again. It's something within you that makes you feel like that. I managed to locate a wheelchair-driven trike. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Look at this. Do you like it? Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic, mate. None of this would have been possible if it wasn't for the settlement on it. There's nothing worse than having your life turned upside down in so many different ways. But to actually come through it all and, and still to be able to see positivity in everything, um, for me, is, is a marvellous thing. Thank you.